What's up fam, how are you all? Hope everyone is doing great. So in this particular video, I will share complete details about JNTU Hyderabad. Details like what are the facilities available, how is the campus life, how are the connections, what are the courses offered and what is the fee structure and finally how are the placements. And at the end of the video, I will share my review about JNTU Hyderabad, whether it can be considered as top university in Telangana or not. So stick to the video until the end and please share your opinion about JNTU Hyderabad in the comment section. So without any further ado, let's get started. So JNTU Hyderabad was established in 1972 and the campus area for JNTU Hyderabad is 89 acres and the type of JNTU Hyderabad is public university and the location of JNTU Hyderabad is Hyderabad, Telangana, India. And if you look at the university connectivity, so the nearest bus station for JNTU Hyderabad is Lingampalli bus station which is around 9 km distance and nearest railway station is Lingampalli railway station which is around 9.5 km and also Sikindrabad railway station which is around 16 km. And the nearest airport is Rajiv Gandhi International Airport which is around 40 km distance. And if you see the accreditations and rankings for the JNTU Hyderabad, so this university was approved by UGC and all the courses which was offered in this university is approved by AICTE and this university was accredited by NAC with A grade accreditation and in NIRF engineering ranking 2023 this university was secured 83rd rank and if you look into constant colleges of JNTU Hyderabad we have various colleges like JNTU College of Engineering Hyderabad JNTU College of Management Hyderabad JNTU College of Engineering Jagityal JNTU College of Engineering Mantani JNTU College of Engineering Sultanpur JNTU College of Pharmacy Sultanpur JNTU College of Engineering Rajanna Sirkilla JNTU College of Engineering Vanaparthi So we have various constituent colleges under JNTU Hyderabad So in this particular video I will mainly focus on JNTU College of Engineering Hyderabad So coming to the facilities of JNTU Hyderabad So first facility is library So this library was built in 45,000 square feet So if you look the collection of this library So total we have 93,440 books and also we have 3,533 ebooks and also we have 30,500 e-journals and this library was subscribed to 187 print journals. So if you look into university hostel and mess facilities, so we have separate hostels for both boys and girls. So we have four boys hostels with capacity of 1300 students and also we have three girls hostels with capacity of 982 students. And in the hostels we have other amenities like TV room, reading room, computer room and dining room. And if you look into the mess food, it was quite decent if we compare with the other government colleges, it is really quite decent. And if you didn't like the food, you can order food from outside. And apart from library and hostels, we have other amenities amenities other amenities like we have computer labs of 450 seating capacity we have auditoriums of 1050 and 330 seating capacity we have various seminar halls we have guest house with 53 rooms we also have healthcare center canteen banks fire station and internet and wi-fi facilities and if you look into the sports facilities so this university have wide range of sports facilities like cricket basketball volleyball throw ball table tennis badminton coco football caroms chess gymnasium so in this university all type of sports facilities are available so if you look into the student clubs so there are wide range of student clubs which are available here like coding club ragavarsha club robonauts club what gills club film and videography club i entrepreneurship club literary club google developers student clubs environmental committee club ncc nss so like this in this university we have wide range of student clubs and if you look into the university events so we have cultural event as well as technical events so in cultural events we have spandana which is annual cultural festival and we also have technical events like stapatya so i don't know how to pronounce it correctly and the next one is pragnya next is purti next is quest and next is ayas and next is Giros. so these are the some technical events which is conducted in jain to hyderabad and we also have innovative learning and teaching so this is the program for faculty members so faculty who want to gain more knowledge and understand the technologies they have to participate in this particular interactive sessions so these classes will be conducted virtually during week hours evening so students and faculty who are interested in these classes they can participate and gain knowledge and the interactive sessions were handled by the experts from reputed institutions like NITs, JNTUs, IITs and HCU and as well as industry experts. And next we have JNTUH Innovation Hub. So this hub provides various facilities to the students who are really interested in making startups. So various facilities like spectrum of programs, experts, labs, equipments, collaborations, 
networks knowledge intensive businesses and tech enterprises so these are the some of the facilities which is provided to the students and the student who came up with innovative idea here is a chance you can make it as a startup so here are four stages of startup first one is ideation you have to bring with innovative idea and second is prototyping so you have to create a prototype and third one is incubation after creating your prototype you have to show to the incubation center so the incubation center will raise up funding for you and after that we have career accelerator so with that startup you can accelerate your career so these are the four stages of startup so next we have industry university interaction cell so let's suppose if we take a country it has to be developed economically so it needs both industry as well as university so by combining the industry and university the country will develop economically so if you look into the university alumni this university has very strong alumni network so the alumni of this university will help in mentoring expertise internships employment and global reach so these are the some of the advantages if you have a better alumni and this university have notable alumni like dr avinash chander former dg of drdo and dr g satish reddy chairman of drdo dr tesi thomas dg aeronautical systems drdo and dr m mahender reddy ips so these people are the few notable alumni of jntu hyderabad and the next we have research facilities so in research we have various center of excellences like center of excellence in cyber security center of innovation research center for alternative energy options center for earth and atmospheric sciences center for environmental sciences and technology center for pharmaceutical chemistry so these are the various center of excellences which are available at jntu hyderabad and if you look into the departments in jntu hyderabad we have civil engineering electronics and communication engineering electrical and electronics engineering mechanical engineering computer science engineering metallurgical engineering chemical engineering mathematics physics chemistry information technology as well as humanity and social sciences and if you look into the courses offered by jntu hyderabad so in undergraduate programs we have btech in civil engineering electrical and electronics engineering mechanical engineering electronics and communication engineering computer science engineering metallurgical engineering chemical engineering and computer science engineering in aml so these are the some btech programs which are offered in jntu hyderabad so next we have integrated dual degree program so in this program we have two types of courses first one is btech plus mtech second one is btech plus mba so here are the some of the programs which is offered at integrated dual degree programs so civil engineering electrical and electronics engineering mechanical engineering electronics and communication engineering and computer science engineering so these are the courses which are offered in integrated dual degree program and next we have pg regular courses so in pg regular courses we have mtech programs msc programs as well as mca program so you can see the list of the programs in the screen itself so next we have pg part time programs so you can see the part time programs in the screen itself so in pg part time programs there are various courses which are offered by the jntu hyderabad and apart from ug and pg programs we also have mou courses what are the mou courses offered in the jntu hyderabad you can see it on the screen so the admission criteria for jntu hyderabad is so for btech courses you can get admission through tsm set counseling and for dual degree courses also you can get admission through tsm set counseling and for mtech regular programs you can get admission through gate or ts pg set counseling and for mca program you can get admission through ts i set counseling and if you look into the tsm set 2022 final phase cutoffs so you can see the cutoff on the screen so for chemical engineering oc boys cutoff is 20600 for civil engineering 12300 for computer science engineering 1200 computer science engineering in artificial intelligence and machine learning 2200 electronics and communication engineering 3100 electrical and electronics engineering 8700 mechanical engineering 16000 metallurgical engineering 33000 so you can see the cutoffs in the screen for other categories also and coming to the fee structure for jntu hyderabad so for btech program one year tuition fee is 50000 rupees and for dual degree program one year tuition fee is 1 lakh rupees for mtech regular program one year tuition fee is 30000 rupees and for mtech self finance courses one year tuition fee is 50000 rupees and for mca program one year tuition fee is 15 1000 rupees and for m pharm c program one year tuition fee is 45000 rupees and for msc program one year tuition fee is 15000 rupees and if you look into the placements of jntu hyderabad so here are the some of the top recruiters which will come for recruiting students at jntu hyderabad companies like amazon google itc lnt deloitte honeywell infosys tcs telstra optum teradata phenom people barclays oracle ncr corporation ibm futures first 
correct so these are the some of the top recruiters at j2 hyderabad and if you look into the packages so for 2023 the highest package is 46 lakhs per annum and the lowest package is 3.5 lakhs per annum and the median package for btech is 5 lakh 50 thousand per annum and median package for mtech is 5 lakh 50 thousand per annum so this is all about j2 hyderabad i hope you found this video informative and if you have any doubt regarding j2 hyderabad please comment in the comment section i will give reply as soon as possible and at the beginning of the video i told i will give my review at the end and uh, here is my review so the question is is it worth to join j2 hyderabad and the answer is yes so why i was saying yes so these are the some of the reasons so actually the students who didn't get iits nits or triple it's so they have backup option as j2 hyderabad so those kind of students will mainly join in j2 hyderabad and for some students j2 hyderabad is the dream university and if you look into the facilities in j2 hyderabad we have all type of facilities like uh, sports facilities hostel and mess and other amenities also so if you look into the campus life in j2 hyderabad so apart from 75 percentage attendance there is no specific rules and regulations so we have various student clubs and we also have various technical events so you can enjoy a lot in jain to hyderabad and especially if you have a bike you can roam the entire hyderabad no one will stop you and if you look into the connections this university has very good connections also like uh, university connections industry connections as well as alumni connections so this university have one of the best connections in telangana and if you look into the lab facilities lab facilities are also very quite decent and if you look into the faculty some of the faculty are really good but some of the faculty have very less years of experience so my suggestion is don't expect everything from professors so try to learn by yourself only if you look into the roi so the return of investment so roi is really good so you are paying around 50000 per annum but you are getting medium pack is around 5 lakh 50 thousand rupees which is really really good but if you work really harder there is a chance you can get placed in very good company so this is my review about jn2 hyderabad so if you found this video informative and interesting please give it a like and if you found this video is helpful to your friends and relatives please share to them so please share your thoughts about this particular video in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe our channel and turn on notifications just by clicking that bell icon so this is your joshua kumlakar signing off.